2023 presidency. My fate is in God's hands, says Emir Philly. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emir Philly, has reacted to calls for him to contest for presidency in the 2023 presidential election. Hey, now wow. On top of this election matter, <laughs> nothing with person to go here. So you want to tell me that this present governor that uh, we have not actually seen the, the good policies we, whereby, you know, policies he will bring out that will make things a little bit um, uh, uh, easier for, for the people of Nigeria. No, sincerely, I've not seen, I've not seen policies being made. It is either they're debiting us plenty, plenty, or, you know, we are paying for one thing or the other. I don't, I don't think, somebody should remind me if he have actually done uh, or brought out policies that would actually better or make the life of Nigerians better or easier. Maybe, uh, maybe I stand to be corrected. The news in detail, please, stay with us. According to him, it is a prerogative of the president, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired to map out his secession plan. The CBN governor was quoted as speaking when a group of his friends, tagged friends of Godwin Emir Philly, visited him to discuss the controversy over his remote presidential ambition in 2023. In a statement issued by the group and obtained by the cable, Emir Philly maintained that he would leave his faith family in the hands of God. Only yesterday, as the speculation became widespread, a group of his friends under the ages of Friends of Godwin, Emir Philly, met with him to clarify his position. A statement signed by the group reads, Here is what he told us. That he remains focused on his job and will continue supporting Muhammad Buhari led federal government's economic recovery drive. That in his career trajectory right from his days as a young banker, he never asked nor lobbied for a job. He was invited by the board of directors to be the chief executive officer group managing director of Zenith Bank as he was an integral part of a team led by founder Jim Ovia that transformed Janet Bank from a startup to one of Africa's largest bank with subsidiaries in Ghana, Sierra Leone, Gambia, South Africa, Dubai, China, and the United Kingdom. People who are calling for his support, <laughs> well done. Well done. Kuse. Kuse. <laughs> a man that cannot win a local government chairman in a free and fair election wants to be president. Anyway, that is to tell you how the country has degenerated badly. Someone who failed woefully as a CBN governor thinking to contest for the highest position in the country shows how bad our situation has gotten. I keep saying and I will say it here again. It is about time military takes over. <laughs> what? No, never. <laughs> Well, I think this is a better time for us to remind ourselves that it is actually in situations like this that makes the military to take over. Pretending to be the solution, but at the end of the day, become worse than the said democratic system of government. But I tell you, and I kid you not, on, uh, on this particular issue this person raised now, I think we have not had it this bad in democracy or in the military government. I don't think we have. Sincerely, I don't think we have. Well, I'm not going to praise any of the past government, military, or, or whatever, because it is their job they are doing. They come in, they serve the people, and they leave. They are the ones that say they want to come and serve. If not, we will not have voted for anybody, right? Okay, let us not forget that it is in cases like this, the, the military comes in, and there is a, there's already cool the tar almost everywhere in, the African, in, the, in West Africa right now. Most um, country, if, if you if you if you if you have been following this issue of um, cool now, most African countries, West African countries to be precise, they have recorded I think three coup d'état. Three coup have actually taken place, which is not sounding good. It's something Nigerians should be worried about, and of course, our present administration should ensure that things are done the right way, so that people are not going to toe that line again. So, it is something we should not allow or permit to happen. 
We should be mindful of what we do. Even as electorates, we have a part to play. After the low quality of APC government and, in, <laughs> and incompetency, every person believes that he can rule this country. <laughs> what economic miracle or growth indicator has he performed under Buhari that qualifies him to be president? Ask me. Ask me. That's what I'm saying. What has he done? I keep saying it. If you want to become the president, the governor, the senator, whatever you want to be, the best time for you to campaign is actually when you are in office. It is actually when you are in office that you have the time to campaign. You want to become the governor, you are the senator. That is the best time to campaign with how you get to rule or how you get to govern the people. That is the best time ever. That is where you can prove yourself without having to spend one naira. You are a governor and you want to become a House of Reps member. You should ensure that you treat your people well. You should do what you went there to do. You should prove to your people that you are good for it. It is just like somebody going in as, um, let's say, for instance, as an assistant. It is when he does well as an assistant, let's say maybe an assistant to, to let's say, for instance, the HR. It is when that person really proves to, you know, that particular organization that, look, I can do this, that they are going to, you know, come out and say, you know what, you deserve this. You have really proved yourself. But take, for instance, the assistant doesn't do well, and yet he comes out to say, oh, he would want to become the HR of an organization. What do you think is going to happen? Of course, everybody will pick against it. And it's not look as they hate him, no. Meanwhile, all they're like, they after is like, this man is not or has not proven himself enough. So I still am of the opinion that if you want to campaign for any office, the best time to do that is actually when you are in that office. It gives you the time. You don't even need to spend anything. Then after you have led the people well, after you have done your job as a governor well, after you have done your job as a senator well, after you have done your job as, as a vice president well, if you now say you want another higher position, they'll say, no, this man really served well, he deserves it, and voila, you're going to be having it. You spend less because you have already done the conviction you need to do. You don't need to start him. Um, it's just like a good product. It's like, a, let's say, a perfume. A perfume sells itself, right? You wear it and, you, ah, what, what's that? What's that? What's, what's the mother of perfume? Before you know it, somebody, oh, I love it. I love the fragrance. Oh, it even lasts long. You said you've put it on since money eats has already marketed itself. Okay. Stop dreaming. Who wants you to vote you that sees and says money? Some people are still angry. <laughs> okay. Godwin Emile was the architect behind each and every anti-ordinary people's physical and monetary policies. Moreover, he was also involved in a 500 billion corruption allegation accusation that was leveled against him. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.